Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to be unboxing my February adult and YA um, box here. The adult box is just book only and then the YA is the goodies as well. So yeah, so let's go ahead and open the adult box and there's only a plug in here. Uh, let's grab. Okay, so there's a lot of peanuts inside here which are annoying. Okay. Um, so we have the book here. Let's see what this month's theme was because I can't remember. So we have this month's theme was a void of chaos here. So yeah. And now let's see this beautiful book. Um, the book is a, The Adventures of Amina uh, Safri by Shannon Shabari. Uh, which is the author of City of Brass, I'm pretty sure. So I love this redesign. Uh, well, I think it's the original UK cover uh, with a whole bunch of gold foiling, which is beautiful. And then we have the spine there, which is nice as well. And then the back is also very, very beautiful with all this gold foiling, which I really like. Um, the top, we just have black spray edges, the same on the bottom there. And this is so beautiful. We have these gorgeous digitally sprayed edges there, which I love. So it's like a like a whole bunch of squid tentacles with a bow on it, which looks beautiful. I really love this. They really outdid themselves with this one. Um, I think it's really beautiful. Um, my book is a little damaged on the cover here, but it's okay. I don't know, I might ask for a replacement on the toast jacket. It's like folded up on the bottom here, but anyways, let's go ahead and take off the dust jacket. Um, there's nothing on the reversible dust jacket side. And we have some beautiful gold foiling on the naked heart bag, which looks beautiful. And then I really like the spine. The spine looks really, really nice. So pretty, I really like that. And then the back is i think it might be the same on the front uh of the naked hard bag but i love the gold foiling um yeah they're they're the same basically uh let's look at the end pages okay these end pages are great they have foiling on the end pages which i love and i wish they would do more of because the gold foiling on the neck on the end pages was great and then the back end pages, they are different with more gold foiling on it, which I love. So I really love that. This is beautiful. So yeah, I really like this. And then we have a digital um, signature. It's not signed, just printed, but that's fine. So yeah, that is the adult fairy book for this month. Um, I really love it. I think it's beautiful and gorgeous. So, yeah, this is one of their best adult books that they have done. It's so, so pretty. So, I really love this a lot. This is really, really good. Okay, so now let's unbox our Young Adult Fairy Box here. Okay, so this month's theme was Morally Gray. So, that is the spoiler card for this month. And yeah, there's a lot of peanuts. So. so the first thing here we have a From Blood and Ash mug, which I'm really excited for because I love Fairloo mugs. They're always so, so pretty. So I'm excited to look at this. Um, yeah. So I haven't read From Blood and Ash yet, but I do own the first book. And I am interested in reading it. But here is the mug and I think it's very, very beautiful and it has foiling on the mug. And then on the inside of the mug, we have a nice printed design in the inside of the mug, which looks so cool. I love this. Um, it looks beautiful, though I wish this mug and the mug that I included the other time, which was inspired by the Wicked of the Kingdom or something, or Curse of the or something like that. Um, it was also just black and white with foiling, um, and I was just like more color, <laughs> but I mean, it's still very beautiful with the foiling, so I love the mug. 
Um, so yeah, that's really nice. And then the next thing we have here is like a pouch here, um, inspired by the these violent delights by Chloe Gone. Um, so it says the stars incline us, they do not bind us. So it's just like that. Um, it's a really big pouch, like pencil case or whatever. Um, it's nice quality and stuff. Don't know what I'm gonna use this for, but it is nice to have. So let's see what other things we have in here. So we have a snow oak pigment um, here, which I do not need. Um, so here is the design right there. I'm not a, it looks fine. But I'm just not gonna get any use out of this, so yeah, I just won't use that. So that's fine, that's whatever item. And then I think the last item is a print, which I do not like when they do prints as items, to be honest. Um, but it does have some nice foiling on it, um, and it's pretty sure it's inspired by um, Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. Um, so it's a pretty print, but yeah, I do like it, but I just do not like prints as items. They're just not, like, the value for the money is not there, in my opinion, but whatever. And then we have this month's tarot card. So we have two of stars right there with a nice design. And then we have ace of stars here. And I'm pretty sure these are characters from Silk Road, which was last month's book. So that one's, I like getting the tarot cards in this book, in this month's box. Uh, I hate these peanuts, they just fall all over when I take things off the box. Okay, so now we're just moving on to the things inside the box bag. So we have, oops, okay. So we have our fairy scoop here, and then we have a matching bookmark that matches the theme card for this month here. And we have an art print with the author's letter um, on the back. So that's really nice. It looks good, so like that. And now we're on to the actual book now, finally. This month's book, it is City of Nightmares by Rebecca Schaffer. Um, yeah, I like the color scheme that they went for. Um, they just changed the colors for this book. The spine is right there. And then we have the back of the book. On the top, we have this black to purple spread edges. And then on the bottom, they're like pink. And then we have the spread edges right there. So it like it's an ombre with bladder paint and a pterodactyl um, on it, which looks really nice. I do like that. So let's go ahead and take off the dust jacket. Okay. Um, there's nothing on the reversible of the dust jacket. Um, so we have this naked hardback. Um, it has some texture to it, which is interesting. I do like it. So here's the front. I think the front is kind of pretty plain and boring, not gonna lie. Um, and then we have the spine there. And then the back, which I like the back a lot more. It has a pterodactyl on it. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. That looks really nice. I kind of wish this was on the front, to be honest, but it looks really nice. And then we have these inner pages there. These are beautiful. I always love the um, inner pages they do. And then we have the back, which I think this one is my favorite, to be honest. They look really nice. So I love these. That's really pretty. And then it is signed by the author which I love to see. So I like that a lot. Um, yeah, and I think that's everything for this month's book. Um, so yeah, I like this. The items, um, I mostly just honestly just like the mug. The necklace thing, not gonna get any use. The pencil pouch, it's fine. And then the print, it's a nice print, but um, I just don't see myself before. I don't know. I, I don't like princess items. So, anyways, it doesn't really matter. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the items and stuff. But these are the fairy bugs from Fairy Loot. I really like them. Um, they're the 
adult one is just a lot more prettier than this. Um, this is still very pretty, but I prefer the adult one. So, yeah, let me know which one was your favorite for this month's books. Um, and let me know what you think of the books. So, yeah, I'm really interested in both of these. And they are pretty, so I'm glad I have both of them. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, make sure to like, comment below, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.